I, I, I was blown away when I saw that trailer. It, it is like rem a remarkable piece of piece of work that he did for seven thousand dollars, and a, a totally new look on the franchise of, of that of the industry for, for Mortal Kombat. So for me, um, I was super excited. I was above being excited to be a part of that project, and then you know the bonus of Tom being a part of it also was cool to get to kind of hang out. I play I play Shao Kahn. And uh, so I, I uh, had the privilege of uh, having a little bit of fun on set playing the big warlord. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's been a blast. And, uh, and director Ken, he is uh, so pleasant to work with on set and what a vision. He, knew, he knows exactly what he wants and Warner Brothers being a part of it was a huge deal too. What can I say about it, man? Uh, if you've seen that thing, uh, Right away, you see not only Kevin's talent as a director, um, but also as a as a fan of, uh, of the action genre and uh, and his understanding of it, because he's got his own distinctive style in the film already. You can see that in that trailer. I mean, it's, I'm a huge fight fan. You know, I love. I, I love it when it's done well. Unfortunately, sometimes you see fight scenes uh, where, there's, where there's complex martial arts in there. And I think because the director actually doesn't understand the martial arts, he's missing some of the key moves and, and the, the most important parts of it. Kevin, obviously, is someone who doesn't understand it because of his dance background, just because of his appreciation of, uh, of that genre. And you see it so much in his trailer. The performance is awesome, the lighting, everything they did for that small budget is incredible. It's groundbreaking. And I think, hence, the reason that we're doing this web series, and I have the opportunity to work on it, Alex had the opportunity. To work on it. Great, uh, great opportunity working with Mike John White, Jerry Ryan. I, I had a stellar time. It's awesome. Yeah, you know what it was. I remember when I uh, I found out what, uh, that they wanted me to do that that character in particular. I was like, I'm not familiar with this because I, I I remember the franchise from when I was a kid. I used to play it. Obviously, I was like, okay, he's a new character, but he sounds cool. He's head of the SWAT team or what have you. And, you know, I went online and read about it, and then I started started seeing like the comments about it. It was like. He was like the least favorite character. I'm like, hmm, okay, what am I gonna do with this? Fortunately, he was written well. Mm -hmm. There wasn't a, uh, a lot of dialogue with the scenes that it was originally written, and Kevin ended up uh, adding a scene with uh, Jerry Ryan, which was great. So I, I have a great scene with her, and, and I think it improved as we went along, and he was kind of working on the fly. So, um, see, I mean, he's, he's got admirable qualities. I think he's, he's a, he's a solid, solid, hardworking uh, you know, police officer. He's very good at his job. He's respected by his, by his peers. Um, he tries to run by the book, whereas I think maybe Mike Jolly White's character doesn't someone, and uh, you know, they might conflict a little bit in that way, but uh, it's, it's going to be good, man. I'm, I'm excited to see the final thing.